Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great pop-up camper value from Parkway RV Center. Folks, it's been a while since I've said that. First one of these we've had in a long time, and um, this is a nice one today. This is a 2007, the king of, of the Fleetwood manufacturers, Fleetwood folding campers. This is the Highlander, their top-of-the-line series, and this is a Niagara, which is their top-of-the-line model. In other words, folks, if you went to a new Fleetwood dealer in 2007, said you wanted the biggest, the best, the most loaded out pop-up that they build, this is what you would have took home. This is a 14-foot box. Uh, it has a slide out, bathroom, every option that a big camper has. It's 14 foot behind your truck, but 26 foot long when you're set up. So you would have to buy a 26 foot long travel trailer with a slide to get the room that this, that this uh, pop-up has, folks. And this thing's in phenomenal condition. Weighs 3,200 pounds, folds down so you can put it in your garage. You can tow it with a minivan, with a smaller SUV. You don't have to have a full-size truck, but you get a camper that you would normally have to have a full-size truck to have this kind of room. So you get the best of both worlds. Portability, easy to tow, and um, and comfort and room. Uh, of course, Fleetwood, you're talking about the oldest manufacturer of pop-ups. They've been building them for over 42 years. They used to build the Coleman pop-ups, which are always built by Fleetwoods, but that was, uh, they just licensed the name Coleman and they lost that license in 02 or 03. But they still continued making them. Got a slide out that looks great. Got an outside shower and a inside shower. 3,160 uh, pounds to be exact. I've got it hooked into 30 amp power right now. I set this one up myself. The cables, the gears, the pulleys, everything sets up just like it's supposed to. And let me tell you something, folks. Nothing in a pop-up was ever built like a Fleetwood. Now, they, they, they quit making the pop-ups in 2009 after the bankruptcy, and they had to restructure, and they went to motorhomes, strictly motorhomes. They quit making most of their towable campers. And that's kind of a shame because now Coleman's built by Dutchman. Now, I'm not talking bad about anybody or any manufacturer, but there's going to be some sick people in a couple of years when their uh, supposedly Dutchman Coleman's are falling to pieces and they still owe 10, 8, 10 grand on them. They just don't build them like this anymore, folks. Got an awning. Uh, what I like about the high wall is it's a whole lot easier to set up because you don't have to crank as much because you've only got about four feet. You have to crank up that roof. So it's a lot easier to set up. I set this one up myself. It's got the stabilizer jacks, got the outside grill, uh, got, the, of course, the alloy wheels, 20-gallon fresh water tank, 20-gallon gray water tank. Uh, some things that Fleetwood did that other manufacturers didn't do they used a fire, they called it a fire on roof, which is a fiberglass roof. It is a truly maintenance free fiberglass roof. There's no exposed caulking, no exposed seams in the roof. They're the only brand that used a one piece solid floor. They didn't piece it together like other brands did. So you've got an incredible strong uh, floor in this camper. Let's look inside. And of course, this is what they call this. They got a patent on this. This is called Sombrella fabric. And it's a breathable fabric, so you, it resists mold, mildew, and things like that. That's why it looks so good. Not many 10-year-old pop-ups are, are not going to have fabric that's not molded and mildewed except a Fleetwood. Now, as we step inside here, folks, now this is pretty much top of the line in a pop-up. Pretty much every imaginable option that you can have in a pop-up is in this particular one. And for those of you who know me personally, you know that I used to be real big into hunting. And even though I've owned motorhomes, I always kept a Coleman or a Fleetwood pop-up. And I had an 07. Uh, I had a Sequoia, which is the same thing as this, but it didn't have the bathroom or the slide out. And people worry about how well these things stay, uh, stay warm in the wintertime. Let me tell you something, folks. I've, I've been in my Sequoia with the same size furnace that this, that this Niagara has, and it was uh, below zero, snow on the ground, and I was comfortable walking around the camper with my shirt off because it was so hot in here 
I mean, it's just unbelievable how well insulated these tent campers are, and a Coleman in particular. Uh, you've got the king size beds on each end, which is a very, very nice feature. You got a little uh, booth area right here that makes a bed, or a little sofa, I guess you would call it. Uh, table booth makes a bed, then you got a king in the back. And um, look at this, look at this floor, folks. I mean, this is a ten-year-old pop-up. There's not a soft spot in the floor. When Coleman was building these, they put a 20-year factory warranty on the floor. That's how confident that one piece, they were of that one-piece floor. They used an aluminum frame. I mean, the way these, the, these things aren't pieced together. These are manufactured to be as tough as possible. Now, back in 2007, this was a lot more money than your average pop-up. This was about $16,000, $17,000. And you could buy a pretty nice loaded-out travel trailer for that. But... Um, course you get what you paid for and that's why this looks so good now the the, the ceiling nice tall seven foot ceilings uh, no signs of leak damage anywhere the air is ice cold it's got a 4.2 cubic foot Dometic uh, three-way RV refrigerator freezer that works it runs off battery propane or electric uh, got a furnace got an actual stove top and an oven now, how many pop-ups do you see that in it's got a stereo with inside and outside speakers You've got a microwave, which I had in mind. That's actually pretty handy because you don't take much of a generator to pull one of these if you're going boondock camping. And like I said, folks, again, this is that sombrella fabric. You see any mold or mildew? I don't. Curtains all the way around. Another nice benefit of a pop-up is if you go boondock camping, all these windows have screens on them. You can roll these windows down tie them up and get plenty of fresh air circulating in here so you don't need air conditioner you don't need um, you won't need um, at least in the fall and the winter during deer season you don't need all that stuff folks king size bed in the back again folks look at that fabric just absolutely immaculate and this is something mine didn't have which I wish it had it's got a bathroom with a shower of course, that's a porta potty. You've got a cassette that comes out the back of it. Uh, you take your shower in here. It's got a DSI water heater, a six gallon water heater. I mean, this thing's literally got everything a travel trailer's got, just in a in a box that folds down for easy towing. And these are great for deer season. These are great for just general camping. This is an affordable way to get you and your family into RVing and get a camper that can sleep the whole family. This thing can sleep up to eight people with four separate beds. You're gonna love that. Of course, you've got the brace kit on the roof. I mean, this was the best pop-up money could buy in 2007, folks. And that's why it still looks so good today. I'm mean, like I said, it's got water heater. It's got an air inside, outside cooktop. CD stereo, plenty of lights, of course, battery, propane bottles on the front. You're going to like it, folks. I promise you, when you look in this thing, you're going to want to buy it. I mean, you just don't see 10-year-old campers every day that look this good. And if this had been another brand that they built back then, it, 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 wouldn't, be, it wouldn't have held up near this well, folks. The way that the Fleetwoods made these things will never be matched again. I will promise you that. And um, at $59.95, look at that residential double sink. At $59.95, folks, you can't beat that. Look at the NADA on this thing. I mean, these things hold their value so well, even though it's a 2007 model. Uh, suggested list, that's what it costs new without any options. And it's still got an average retail of 7300 Well, folks, we're going to check this thing out for you, show you everything works, sell it to you for $59.95, and we'll plug it in, we'll put some water on it, we'll show you how to work everything, how to set it up and down, and show you that when you pick it up that everything does work. Folks, I've got the fridge. It's already getting cold. Um, of course, I don't have the air on because it's 45 degrees this morning, but it's actually pretty cool and comfortable in here. And uh, we'll make sure the air works. I mean, you're going to be impressed with this thing, folks. I promise you. Uh, got the big fridge. Got the freezer right here. Of course, I don't have my thermometer on me, of course, but I can get personally guarantee you that it works. And that will run off battery, propane, or 110 electric. 
very very easy to set up it took me about without getting in no hurry it took me about 25 to 30 minutes to set this thing up uh, of course a little quicker if you've got two people and we will show you how to set this thing up and down i know that's a big uh, problem for people who've never had a pop-up before but like i said i've owned a coleman and a fleetwood pop-up and i'm very familiar with them and this thing right here keeping this thing cool or warm is not going to be a problem i can guarantee you that you will get it so cool or so cold or warm in here that you'll have to step outside i mean it's amazing how well these things are cooled and heated i mean it's, it really is i mean you would think you're in a regular camper but it's 59.95 that's a haggle free price folks we'll show you everything works on it it's thousands underneath the nada I promise you, you're, you're not going to be able to go RVing for any less than this unless you want to start working on a project. And nobody wants that, folks. This thing will be checked out, ready to go for you. And um, include a full demonstration and, and, and much, much more, folks. Even got the, still got the shower curtain and everything in here. So give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. I don't get many of these in very often, folks, uh, because mainly because most pop-ups when they're 10 years old are in pieces, except the Fleetwoods, and the people that have these things hang on to them, folks, because you can't find them to replace them. So to have one of these, and in this kind of condition, the floor is not even discolored, folks. Uh, the ceiling's not discolored. Fiberglass maintenance free roof. I mean, it's, it's still the steel cables, the pulleys, and all that. This is a southern camper. It came out of Georgia, so it, nothing's rusted. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. One-piece floor with, a, of course, 20-year 20 20 year warranty on the floor from the factory. That's how confident they were about it, and much more. So give us a call, 706-965-7929, evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Visit our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell notification settings. You get notifications every time I post a video. Make sure you check out our Facebook page, our Twitter and Instagram page. We're also on 20 of the most popular for sale uh, websites for RVs on the Internet. So you're going to... Pretty much, if you go to any of the major RV sales sites, you're going to see our listings on there. Or go directly to our site, parkwayrvcenter.com, for a frame of reference. It'll be a lot more updated than the other places. And you'll see definitely see a lot more what we have in stock. Uh, anyway, folks, $59.95, not taking a dime less for it, and it'll be checked out, ready to go. Now, if you want to come, just take it like it is. We don't have to show you how to set it up, how to break it down. We don't have to show you how to, we, everything works on it. We'll, we'll discount it a little bit because it saves me a little time and money that we'll pass along to you. But if you want it checked out, ready to go with a full inspection, it's fifty nine ninety five. Not interested in taking a dime less. Try to find one for less in this kind of condition, folks. Thousands under NADA in immaculate condition. They just don't get better than this, folks. So thank you for watching. We can help you arrange nationwide delivery. Now, folks, this is priced where you can go to your local bank or credit union. You're not going to need a long-term loan for $6,000. If you do, folks, then you're looking at a hobby that you can't afford. But you're not going to need more than, than two or three-year financing on $6,000. We use nationwide lenders. And, here, and here's what happens, folks. Nationwide lenders, they won't. They won't do a loan under about $7,000 because it's not worth their while. So you would actually have to borrow more money on this and you need to buy it to get approved at our nationwide lenders. So the easiest thing to do, folks, and I did this on both the ones that I bought. Instead of going to a bank and getting a loan, doing all that junk, I just walked into my credit union. Hey, I need a, I need a personal loan for $6,000. My loan officer pulled my credit, pulled it up, and 30 minutes later I walked out with $6,000 cash in my pocket or a check. And uh, that's what I recommend doing. Even though this thing's way under book value, you can certainly finance it if you want to using the camper for collateral, but you're going to have to carry full coverage insurance because it's financed. So uh, you know, anything in this price range, folks, it's just so much easier and simpler just to walk into your bank or credit union, get a signature loan or personal loan, get your money, and come pay for it.
or just pay cash for it. Or we take trade-ins, folks, and we trade for stuff that other people won't touch, uh, especially RV dealers. We'll trade for uh, cars, trucks, other RVs, of course. Uh, we'll trade for uh, classic cars, lawn equipment, tractors. We'll trade for guns, which you won't find many RV dealers that'll do that. We'll trade for gold and silver. We'll trade for coin collections. We'll trade for pretty much anything of value that we can resell that we can resell as quick as we sell our RVs, and we'll be happy to put a trade-in value on it, folks. So if you've got something different other dealers told you know about, you might be surprised when we say yes. Again, folks, please call 706-965-7929, evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. You can email us at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com, and, of course, check out our website, save it to your favorites, parkwayrvcenter.com. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.